Hello everyone, Russ of Aquarimax here. Today is a first Friday feeding video. I'll be feeding one of our Diamond Diadema or Tanzanian tailless whip scorpions. This is my male. I've had this specimen, actually both of them, for a little over four years now. Raised them from very, very small uh, specimens to adulthood and they, they keep growing throughout their entire lives so they'll still grow a little bit. Uh, the feeding process of these guys is a little bit difficult to catch in good light because they tend to be fairly shy and don't really like light but just today I was fortunate to catch the female hunting. So thanks to Philip Margate for the request for a feeding video on these. You had excellent timing or my dumb and diadema did or both. So without further ado let's watch the feeding. All right, and here is my female Daman Diadema about to eat. An oh, easy way to distinguish mature males from females is that the pedipalps of the male, uh, when they're folded like this individuals are folded, they extend beyond the first joint of the first pair of walking legs. But the individual that is now in the video, as you may notice, has pedipalps that are shorter than the uh, first joint of the first pair of walking legs. These are uh, Daemon diadema as far as I'm aware. I know that um, Daemon medius is more common in the hobby now, but uh, these were captive bred, like I mentioned, about four and a half years ago. And uh, I got them when they were tiny little uh, whiplings, and they have grown to maturity with me. It's been an interesting experience. You can see that she is using her antenniform legs to both tell where the cricket is and probably to try to corral it a little bit. Maybe to try to entice it to move a little bit so she can get a better idea of where it is. An interesting thing about uh, this species is that they will hunt in darkness. They don't necessarily need to rely on their sight. They do have eyes and they can use them, but they can use their antenniform legs to uh, both determine where their prey is and kind of guide it to where they want it to be. And you know that she means business when she's got those pedipalps extended. But uh, she's very deliberate. Dama and Diadema tend to be very deliberate hunters. They will um, not strike until they're ready to strike. And that doesn't mean that they're always successful. But um, they seem to wait until they appear to have a reasonable chance of catching the prey before they strike. So it's a fascinating process. Watching them slowly edge up to the prey nudging the uh, cricket or whatever they're going after um, very very carefully and gently until it gets close enough so that they can pounce on it they don't have any venom they rely on those really spiky pedipalps to catch and subdue their prey and then they just use their chelicerae to just kind of dig in they chew into it uh, without recourse to any kind of venom all right here comes the final approach. The cricket's in a favorable place and she is just about to strike. Notice her pedipalps just poised at the ready for the right movement. And there it is. Looks like she has a nice firm grasp on it. At this point, uh, she'll use those spiky pedipalps. She'll occasionally shake her body and I, I assume this is a an attempt to get a better grip on the prey but uh, from this point on generally it's over the cricket's not going to get loose those spikes are pretty effective at what they are adapted to do in this shot you can clearly see the chelicerae or the fangs at work chelicerae are structures that tailless whip scorpions share with scorpions and vinegaroons and spiders and so on their relatives the chelicerates I'm really excited to have gotten this footage. It is more difficult than you might think to get Damon Diadema to eat in nice, bright, clear light. I do have some footage of others eating, but uh, it was through an acrylic container, and though it was clear, it was really harder to see. Here you can see uh, the tailless whip scorpion shaking the cricket, and I assume that has something to do with securing the prey, although I'm not sure exactly how that works. But anyway, the entire process is pretty fascinating to watch. I'm really glad that Philip requested it because I might not have thought of it otherwise. I'd like to give a quick shout out to our Patreon supporters who help make Aquarimax Pets possible. 
and I want to give you a good look at these spiky pedipalps. I really, really don't envy that cricket at all. Thanks for watching today. I post videos every Wednesday and Friday, all on aquarium and vivarium pets. Please feel free to rate, share, comment, and if you haven't already, subscribe. And then click the bell icon so you don't miss my next video. It's been about 30 to 45 minutes since I fed her, and as you can see, she's not quite finished. If you are not quite finished watching Aquarimax Pets videos, here are a couple more.